Facebook Live, Facebook Live. Hallelujah. We have arrived one more time. Watchmen, uh, Yahuda Israel. Hallelujah. Also known as Pastor Derek Man. What's today's date, my on this um somebody tell me the date on y'all it's the 10th uh uh it, today is july 10th uh 22k jb good to see you on battle in the house matter yahoo matter yahoo We got Big Mark and, and Elder up in here, my wife and family, and um, Mother Joyce, my mama. Uh, we wall to wall, true top tall, y'all. <coughs> Charvet up in here. Um, I apologize if I don't I miss you right now, but but I love you more important than he do. Uh, let's go to let's go to uh, the matter Yahoo. Or this morning, the, the third chapter, the third, third chapter of Matty Yahoo. Uh, um, yeah, let's go to let's go to Matthew's y'all. Matty Yahoo three. Is that all right, y'all? Yeah. Beginning at the first verse. Look what it says. It says. In, 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 in those days uh, came Yachanan the Immerser, or a.k.a. John the Baptist, right? Yachanan the Immerser, preaching in the wilderness of, of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the, for the kingdom of, of heaven is at hand. Nicole, good to see you all. Now, he, he, hear me, y'all. The message is, um, you know, to repent, which means to walk away from sin, to turn from sin. Aretha Jones, long time, young lady, good to see you on. But the consensus is to repent, to turn from sin. Good to see you on, uh, Coach Don Deems. Now, we all experience, you know, being in church. You know, isn't the emphasis isn't on repentance to turn from sin. The emphasis is on Jesus in the form of keep your sins, because ain't nobody perfect anyway. That's the consensus, which is another gospel. That's not the true gospel. Saddest part about that is the average person that's listening to this message has been under that influence or still is. Has been or still is. Almost 100%. Now, to be clear, look what it say. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and said, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's saying, stop sinning, turn from sin, because the kingdom of heaven is at, sin, at hand. Not be forgiven for sin, but continue to sin. Stop sinning, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Stop sinning. Repent. Are you with me? Now again, Almost 100% of everyone on the side of my voice came up with a theological position that we're going to keep sinning. That we don't have to repent. All we got to do is just believe Jesus. That's the, that's the doctrine that the average person believes. Unfortunately, still some on the side of my voice is under that same spirit. Unfortunately. And it's not a new gospel. There is no new God. There is no another gospel. 
In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, stop sinning. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn from sin. Repent. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of uh, Yahuwah and make his path straight. And if you look at the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, you can see that it was prophesied that um, there would be a voice of one crying in the wilderness preaching to make a straight path for Yah. The straight path for Yah is to straighten out that which is crooked. And what was crooked is people. And the crookedness in people is sinning, going against the Creator. Don't do what He say. That's what's crooked. The straight path is that we stop being crooked and we become, we come straight and we start obeying Him. Yeah. If any if any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. With the crooked, then because of man's authority in the earth, with the crookedness of people, then the earth will be crooked. Crooked. I mean, super crooked. I mean, crooks will run it. You'll give authority to the devil and his children. If, if the people is crooked, if, if, we, if we live crookedly, then crookedness has an effect, cause and effect. Yeah. There's the, the wages of sin is death. You'll see death. You'll see destruction. You'll see concentration camps you see you see face masks you see the erosion of your freedoms you'll see delusions and people will literally be under the influence of it you can't talk folks off this stuff it's too thick because it is it is the results of crookedness that's why he said make his path straight He's coming to rescue his children, and his children is on a straight and narrow. Wide is the road to lead to destruction. Many, many there be to go in their act. Straight and narrow is the path to lead to life. Few there be to find it. Where are the few at? Because you have people that has been Catholicized doctrinally. The, the scripture started off wrong according to some people's theological stronghold. And it's a stronghold because no matter what the words say, they've been doctrinated. They've been doctrinated. There ain't nobody perfect. We're only human. We're just sinners saved by grace. That's the, that's, that's the fiber of their being. So even though the scriptures read, it's just difficult. Well, we're going to pray the most high move and and, 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 and destroy the yoke and set the captive free. Look what it says. In those days came Yachanan the Immerser, they call him John the Baptist, right? Preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, stop sinning, turn from sin, y'all, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what the words say. I'm not quoting what preachers say, I'm not quoting what denominations say, I'm not quoting what camps say. The word says, and 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 Matty Yahoo three and two, uh, and, and saying that uh, Yachanan was preaching in the wilderness of Judea, Judea, saying, "Repent, stop sinning, turn from sin, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, "The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Most High, make his path straight." And the same Yachanan had his raiment of camel's hair and leathern girdle about his noise, and, and, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, and all the Judea, and all uh, of the region of, about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Look at this. Can you imagine a group of people coming and confessing their sins with the intentions on stop doing it? Could, could you see... Someone is on crack and say, you know, I smoke crack, but I'm done. 
the kingdom of heaven is at hand, or, or I commit adultery, I commit fornication, or I talk behind people back and I'm heck of bitter and mean and rude and nasty and 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 everybody is do me wrong and poor little me because I'm so holy. No, that's a wicked spirit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I know a bunch of them. But they're confessing it. They're, 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 they're admitting it. They're, 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 they're coming clean. Are you with me? They're coming clean. They're being honest. Oh, this is a beautiful thing, right? Look what they say. Six verse. Or fifth. And then went out unto him, Jerusalem and Judea, and the region about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. They're coming clean. But when he saw many of the Pharisees, here come the religious folk. Here come, here come uh, uh, Judah, religious people. And when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come uh, to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. The, warn, the, the wrath is here. Forget coming. Can't you see? This, this was about a couple thousand years ago, y'all, when, when, when this went down. And he was forecasting, can't you see the wrath to come? Because a thousand years as a day to the Most High, it was like a couple days ago on the Most High's calendar. Because we're living in the last days, the, the last couple thousand years, because it's finna fin break wide. But he's warning them to flee the wrath to come. What is the wrath all about? Religious folks still in sin. Got got a, got a doctrine of elbow room. There's a doctrine of elbow room. Sinner saved by grace. Elbow room. Ain't nobody perfect. Elbow room. I'm only human. The reason why he baptized his spirit inside of you is because you're only human. That's why greater is he that's in us and he that's in the world. The only human folks admitted they were only human, and because of their humanism, they were sinners. So when the gospel came, when the best array came, we admitted it. We admitted that we're only human. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, so we repented. When we accepted him, we repented, turned from sin. He baptized himself inside of us to give us the power to stay away from sin. We were willing to turn from it. He was willing to baptize himself inside of us, giving us the power to stay from it. So you claim in something, your humanism, that was supposed to be baptized into his death. And you were supposed to rise up to walk in the newness of life. That's the death, burial, and resurrection. The death of your evil nature, the burial of it, and the resurrection is to rise up to walk in the newness of life. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Your evil nature still pulling on you. Still want to want to get you to change your mind? Yeah, yeah. That's why uh, 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 James got involved and, and wrote in, in, in James one and twelve, "Blesses the man that endureth temptation." You got to endure your cravings. That's why the Mashiach said in Matthew Yahoo, the sixteenth chapter says, "said If any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his straws, his torture stake, the tree, the cross they call it." Take, take it up and follow me. You, you got to deny yourself because your evil nature wants to make a comeback. Yeah. So, but with seven verse, y'all. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said on them, oh, generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. I keep telling y'all, right, the spookiness, though, you know, with, 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 with wisdom comes sorrow because we know what's over the horizon. People is running around here still trying to uh, stack their chips, still trying to, you know, still looking for a man, still, still, you know, looking at that house and that job. I, I'm not going to hate on you, but I'm going to tell you this. You should be mad at Yahoo, uh, another part of 16, right? It says, first seek the kingdom of, uh, of the most high and his righteousness. And all these other things to be added on to you. The only thing we really got is our souls. 
Only thing you really got is your relationship with, 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 with the most high. And this place that we're living in ain't nothing but a proven ground because death is here because of sin. So that makes this place temporary. He could have just left damnation uh, in this place and consumed us all. But he made a way out for the believer. He made a way out for the believer. And his name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they find safety. Again, I keep talking about Goshen. When he attacked Egypt, there was a spiritual Goshen. There was a physical Goshen in Egypt. We're in the spiritual Goshen right now. Those that believe, we're in his name, and it's a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and find safety. We have safety. But it's, 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 it's busting wide right now. It's going down. I ain't seen no chemtrails. We expecting company? <laughs> that might have went over your head, huh? But the, with, with, with wisdom come with, with wisdom, with wisdom come sorrow, because you really know what's going on. Oh, and it's tough. Over the horizon, it, 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 it's tough, y'all. Yeah, it is tough. Okay, the, the Bible left me, so I'm going to grab this one. We ain't going to stop. I got another one. I had a backup. Didn't work. <laughs> but what verse I'm on? Seven? Seven. But when he saw, now I got to use these, see? Look what it say, y'all. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said, I'm he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Who's warning you? The Most High, because he love you? Who has warned you to flee the wrath to come? Core part about it is here. Yeah, yeah, it's here. It's here. Yeah. Folks was love to run around talking about, I've been here in these the last days all my life. You ain't got to worry about that no more. It's right here. Mm-hmm. And those that believe, he said, look up for your redemption, draw nigh. Those that believe, he protects. Yeah. His angels is encompassed about them that, that fear him. Those that are obeying him, those that don't want to run around here with a, relig a, thin, a thin layer of outside religion, but inwardly they're, 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 they're dead. No. Uh-uh. He, his angels is encompassed about those that fear him. And if you fear him, it's the beginning of knowledge. And the beginning of knowledge is walking in obedience to his word. Yeah. Yeah, who have warned you? Who, who is warning you? The devil not? The devil still running reruns of football. The, 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 the devil still running highlights of basketball. Basketball is over, baby. Football is over. You you being preoccupied. They ain't making new movies. You watching reruns. We had a standstill. Yeah, but they'll throw some reruns on you to keep you keep you occupied, so you don't know what's really going on. Keep you sleep, fan you to sleep. Turkey out there eating, stomach hanging. Boy, they treat that turkey good. He just walking around in your uh, yard gobbling. <laughs> Neck, them, 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 them skin bags hanging from his neck. They finna slit them jokers. He run around gobbling, feeling good. They keeping him clean and, you know, keep him all trimmed up. He looked like he got on the tuxedo. They threw a bow tie on him. They didn't name him. Kids playing with him. Couple days before Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know. This is a little different, something a little different about when they say, come here. This time, the, the come here is a little weird. It's a little different. He starts talking. He, he come wobbling, thinking he can get another big old, big old bowl of the stuff and something real cool to drink. He coming. He look, wait, wait a minute. Y'all look a little different. Things is a little different, y'all. Th th things are not the way they was. Who has warned you? Can you see the warning? Who have warned you to flee the wrath to come? Who has warned you? 
Is it the most high that's reaching out to save you, to rescue you from the true problem, which is sin? Because everything that's going on is because of wickedness, because we have turned our back on the most high. We should be we, we should be repenting for our forefathers and going before him in sackcloth and ashes. We should be praying. We should be fasting. We should be seeking him like never before because the wrath is here. You hear all the warnings. You hear prophet, prophecies coming through dreams and all that. Folks, it's hollering, brace yourself. Brace yourself. I've seen two different people come prophetically saying, brace yourself. What's over the horizon will cause you to have to brace yourself. Who has warned you? You want some uh, sinner saved by grace doctrine now, huh? You want to play that game still? Okay. Those of us that are willing to do what the scripture says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, brace yourself. Brace yourself. Look up. Yeah. Look up. For, for your redemption draws nigh. Yeah. The most high uses wicked folk. He uses the devil. He used wicked folk. Had they known he was the Mashiach and the results of them crucifying him, they never would have did it, the word says in Corinthians, the second chapter. They, they wouldn't have did it. It backfired on them. And it, that, See, it's a concept. You got what you wanted, but you lost what you had. The wicked people move for what they want. They want something. And what they want is temporary. They try to turn this place into a utopia. This place, this place is going to pass away. And the only thing going to be standing is his word. This place is passing away in the fashion thereof because of wickedness, because of crookedness, because of sin. Yeah. And in this sabbatical, we're in a sabbatical. His children in the ark of safety, we're in a sabbatical. To whereas we need to close our doors and wait. Fasting and praying and believing and wait. We're in a sabbatical. We're in a chain. It's a switch. Most High has a way of letting Judas get his coins. He didn't stop him from getting his money. He told him, go do what you do and do it quickly. He did not stop him from doing what he had to do. He let him get his coins. And then comes the concept, you, you got what you wanted, but you lost what you had. Mm. Money wasn't worth it, asked Judas. Mm. He ended up killing himself. He ended up hanging himself. Because he, he got what he wanted, but, 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 but he lost what he had. And with this wicked system, they got what they wanted. You wanted this, you set the people up, you counted them as sheep for slaughter. Well, the most high ain't going to stay asleep and slumbering. He's been kicked back in, in, in Psalms 44. It talks about how long will you sleep and slumber? Rise and rescue your children. And it's understood that the reason why he was sleeping and slumbering is because of our sins, because we refuse to repent. But I'm going to tell you now, he said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, he said, then I'll hear from heaven. I forgive your sins and I hear your land. Well, here we are. We were printing and we crying out. We understand party's over. Oops, out of time. We're apologizing for the thong and the party. For the wrong and the scandal song. We repenting. We don't want nothing to do with it. We walking away from it. Everything belongs to Satan. You have it back. Hallelujah. We repent. Now we're in the ark of safety. Come on, somebody. Aren't you in the ark of safety? You can have your stuff back. Go on, take her. Go on, take him. Go on, take it. Go on, take them. Are you sure y'all want to go with the devil? Because I'm praying for you. We, when you gone in... I'm going to come out from among you and be you separate so he can accept me. Come on, somebody, but I'm praying for you. I'm not hating on you. I'm praying that the scales fall off your eyes and that you repent before it's everlasting too late. Who has warned you? The devil ain't warning you. The devil love where you at. Who has warned you to flee the wrath to come? What can't you see is here? It's already unfolding. It's already unfolded. It's evident. It's all. It's here. It's all sleepwalking, breathing carbon and sleepwalking. Freedom's gone. Hijacked. Don't even know it. 
devilish children is, 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 is in position to deliver the, 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 the fatal blow. Because they're getting what they want. <laughs> but they definitely don't have what they need. And that's the creator of all. <laughs> the creator of all is what you need. Come on, somebody. Who has warned you? Who? Who's warning you, y'all? Who has warned you to flee the wrath to come? Look what the A verse say. Bring you forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. Since you've been warned, bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. Fruit is an action. Meat is equivalent to repentance. In other words, repent. Action, not verbal only. Action, repent, walk away from sin. The only fruit that's meat for repentance is to walk away from sin. Repent. Are you with me? Look what else he said. Ninth first. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I said unto you, Yah is able to, to able uh, of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Are you with me? He could take a rock. Because a rock does his job. If the most I told the rock to lay there, it's just going to lay there. If you told the rock to block the water from the, from the shore, it's going gonna, it's gonna to man this pulse. He's able to have rocks and trees walk in faith. In other words, do what he called it to do. People is the problem. Folks want to go but the bloodline. The bloodline got you shipped into slavery. Hard-headed. Don't say just because we the seed, we got to man. No, you got to come with, 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 with fruit, meat for repentance. Actions that cause you to turn from your sins, period. All of them. Every last one of them. And you got the power to do it because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. It's the truth anyhow. So he said, don't get religious on me. Don't get bloodline on me. You can get bloodline. Don't get it twisted. He still loves his children. Have he cast his children away? Romans 11 chapter tell you now. But you're going to get cast away if you ain't walking in faith. The faith of your father Abraham. The one, the one that caused him to choose you in the first place. And what caused, the, what caused the most high to choose Abraham in the first place was his faith. He obeyed him. We need to obey him. Like father Abraham. So don't start calling on Abraham unless you're going to do the works of Abraham. That's what the Messiah said. You want to claim him, but you ain't doing the works he did. <laughs> Do the works he did, which walk in obedience. And this was pre-law. He had a relationship with him pre-law. He didn't even need the law. Law became, law came because of disobedience. He walked in obedience. Come on, somebody. Look what else he say. And now also the axe is laid onto the root of the trees. Trees, all of us. There's an axe laid at the root of our tree. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is held down and cast into the fire. Are you hearing this? Every tree that's not bringing forth good fruit is going to get chopped down and cast into the fire. Are you listening? So, so this, the, 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 what this, the, this disaster that's happening to the earth is for you. Those of you that think there's other routes other than obeying the most high. The Messiah already told you, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Ain't no other way. You better repent and receive the Messiah as master and savior of your life or you're done for. That's what the book teaches. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the ax is laid at the tree. What tree? Look in the mirror. You notice there's an S right there. Say trees. And then it said, every tree, every tree, we the trees, y'all, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit. Good to see you on, big bro, MacArthur. But every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is cut down, hewn down, 
disaster over the horizons. Every tree that breathes not for good fruit is cut down. If, if you if you if you funny style, religious and all that, you ain't walking in love, you ain't walking in forgiveness, all you got is grudges and backbiting and, and just all this mess follow you everywhere you go. Every tree that brings them out for good fruit is cut down. Every last one of them. Ain't going to be none to survive. It's cut down and cast into the fire. I'm almost done, y'all. We're about out of time. Look what he said. Indeed, I baptize you with water unto repentance. Look, he telling you the water, it, it, it actually symbolizes a liquid grave. It actually symbolizes what happened in the spirit. You were baptized into his death. So the water represents a, a, a liquid grave like it's your funeral. Like what happened in your heart. The symbolic piece is being baptized into the water, right? You're agreeing with the ministry uh, uh, of repentance right now. You're, you're agreeing that you need to stop sinning. So he's baptizing you, right? He said, I indeed baptize you unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Ruach HaKadosh, a.k.a. the Holy Spirit, and with fire. See, he was baptizing folks with water. Outward uh, symbolism of what's happening in the heart, right? When the Messiah come, he gonna baptize you with that real baptism. It's the spiritual baptism where you're baptized into his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. When you're baptized into his death and you rise up to walk in the newness of life, you're walking in his character, in his spirit, according to the leading of his word. And they get hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they did it to the master, they'll do it to you. Yeah. Fire. See, it's a little different. A little different. Man, we can deal with you from an outward appearance. From an outward type of a thing. We give you the word, one planet, another, one planet, another water, but it's the most high to get an increase. The increase comes through the baptism of fire. You, you growing in him, it's coming through fire. You're learning how to trust him. You're learning how to let this place go. You're learning how to, you, see, you were living with everything you had here. Trying to get paid, trying to get laid. Try, trying to have your way here in this temporary life that's been cut short because of sin. You better repost yourself and post yourself in the, in the eternal. Good to see you on, Woods. But, 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 but folks, folks living in sin because they try to make it here. Folks will turn on him. They'll sell him out for the temporary. They, 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 they'll, they'll sell him out for their relationship, for their family, for their money, uh, for, for a car and a house, for, for fame. They, they, they sell him out for sex. Rock and roll. Come on, somebody. Hip-hop. Folks sell him out to try to make it here. See, he let them know, I'm baptizing you in water according to the profession of your mouth, right? You're confessing your sins saying you want to repent. So I'm baptizing you as symbolism that you can turn away from sin. But there's somebody else that will come behind you that's going to baptize you and purify you. And you will be, you're going to go through the purification process, and it's through fire. we got to trust the Most High with everything in us. This is apology zone here. Earth is apology for his children. Earth, Earth is the platform that we admit that people are, was born in sin, shaped in iniquity, and we was a part of it. This is where we apologize for the forefathers all the way back up to Adam for getting us in this mess. We apologize for the shortcomings of humanity, and we admit it. And now we're going through the transformation process through faith. We're trusting that he's going to transform us into his image, and we got to trust him with our very lives until he come get us. The wages of sin is death. We are baptized in his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life right now. It's appointed unto a man once to die, and then the judgment. We already died. We were baptized to his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. Now we're alive forevermore, but we got to hold on. We got to hold on. We're not surprised that there's wars and rumors of wars and that there's pestilence. There's wars, real wars, and there's rumors of wars. 
there's real, there's real, there's real uh, pandemics, and then there's rumors of pandemics. There's, 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 there's all kinds. Of, all love is applicable right now, though. The devil is on one. Everything's applicable, real stuff and fake stuff. It's all working to death because of sin, and we understand that. But we've already been baptized to a death. We're not, we not baptized to our own death. We rolled it with the death, the only death that has a resurrection attached to it. And that's the Messiah's. He's the only one that, that hit the grave and then, and, and then rose again. Sinless. He's the only one. We rising up to walk in the newness of life with him through his spirit. And now he's using us in these last and evil days for the perpetration of the good news, of the best array, of what they call the gospel. Come on, somebody. Yeah, he baptized with water, saying repent. But the Messiah was going to come, and he's going to get real intimate with you. He's going to get all in your business, all in your love life, all in your head life, what you're thinking. And the word is able to cast out every imagination and every high thing and exhaust itself against the knowledge of Yah. You're talking stupid in your brain again. But the word will go and get it, and he'll correct your stinking thinking. Come on, somebody. He's going to baptize you with fire. It's going to get hot. People are going to come against you. That, that you were good to. People are going to stab you in the back. People are going to lie on you. It's going to get hot. He's going to baptize you with fire. The purification process. You're going to see the threat. And you might sweat till you get wet. But you got to cast your cares upon him knowing that he cares. That's a part of the fire. I trust you anyhow. Like Job said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I like these circumstances and I want out. But I ain't turning on you. Oh, I'm closing, y'all. John told him, said, look, I baptize you with water, and, and it's good that you came and confessed that you're a crackhead and, and that you've been sleeping with your partner's wife. It's good that you that. Cut it out. Cut it out. Go tell, too. Cut it out. Tell on her and yourself. And I pray he don't kill you. But cut it out. Cut it. You got to repent. You got to repent from your sin. You got to repent from your sin and allow the Most High to come in, the Mashiach. Uh, you know, the most high in body form, but the body didn't already did what he did, but let, let the most high in, let the word in, let his spirit in. And when he get in there, he going to clean you up for real and it's going to get hot. <laughs> hot. But you're going to come out as pure gold. Hallelujah. With eternal life. Let's pray. Spirit of the most high, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humbly to know how Gleaning in the truth of your word. Thy word is truth. We love you. And thank you for this opportunity to go through the purification process. We're trusting you with everything. Oh, the boogeyman acting a dummy. But greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And you being for us is more than the whole world being against us. We're trusting you with our very lives until you come get us. And we're trusting you even for this. In the master's name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That's it, y'all. That was a lesson for uh, this morning. We pray that the word found you and unbound you, we found, and that you're celebrating the victory. He's going to come get us soon, y'all. When you see all this stuff happening, look up for your redemption draw nigh. If you were blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Yeah, push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Is that all right? If you're a supporter of this ministry, like I always tell y'all, I'm humbled, and I really appreciate it. Um, it helps me do what I do. It, it do I do it if you didn't support the ministry, and a lot of people don't anyway. But uh, you know I love the Most High, and I'm gonna do what I'm called to do. But I definitely want to say thank you to you, those of you that support the ministry, because obviously the ministry must be supporting you. If there's anyone that's being blessed by this ministry and would like to start supporting this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the Cash App, all you gotta do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. And you can support the ministry like that. Good to see you all, Pastor Gillette. I don't know if you just came on right now. <clears throat> but I think it's a pretty cool lesson. You get a chance to listen to it. It ain't long. But always good to see you, sir. Bless you. Um, Yeah. That that was the lesson. We're about to go back to the uh, conference line and talk about it. If anyone you know heard the lesson and want to talk about it, got a question or a statement, it's good. All you got to do is dial 302 202 1102 extension 815648 again 302 202 1102 extension 815648 all you gotta do is follow Rita B she got it for you it's in the thing she on top of it boy Ruah user user all right y'all we finna head on over to the line 
y'all chime in and let's talk about the word. Keep that number because we plan to be praying again at noon and then we plan to be praying again. No, we plan, plan to, a word from Elder tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Is that all right? So we plan to pray again. Of course, we're going to pray before he get in the word. But that's what we do. We do we do three services a day, five days a week, and then we do one on Shabbat and one on Sunday. Seven days a week, we ought to uh, not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as a matter of see it, some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as we see the day approaching. It's approaching, y'all. We need it. We better start crying out right now. Don't wait. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.